Hello, this is your man Hot Man. Welcome to Hot Man Productions. Um, this time we'll be doing a review on a Walking Dead figure. Um, the, from AMC, uh, from season six, we will be doing on um a Game Scott Game Stop exclusive on the Curl um action figure. I took everything out of the box, guys. Here goes the um box right here. As you can see. Not, nothing too much difficult on the, on the back of the box, as you can see right there. There's a couple more figures I do want to get in this line. Um, I want to get um, Bob Tyrese. I do have him, but like I said, I just didn't do a, uh, a review on Daryl, but I will do a review on him. I have Morgan. I don't have, um, do not have Eugene, Eugene. I do have Rick, and we're doing a review on Carl. Uh, she comes with um, a, a good amount of uh, accessories. Um, she do, when you're in the package, she do comes with this type of poncho that she didn't make. It's the episode that she made in. Um, I believe this is from the episode that was in Terminus. I believe it was. In uh, episode 8. So she does, when you, when you do, if you want to pick up, the, if, if you pick up this figure, um, she will come with this on. I just took it off because, um, I think it's kind of stiff, and I want to show you um, the details of the figure. Uh, she do come with this gun-type crossbow, as you can see. It does have a lot of detail on it. You do have um, the two arrows right here, the, the trigger. Um, this is a very soft type of plastic and everything. Um, the arrows is not movable at all. She then comes with the um, automatic wipe. Um, machine gun. I don't know too much about um, weapons at all. Um, this part do move right here up and down. Do have the scope on there. And this is also a um, very it's, um, um, pliable type material also. Now we get on with the figure itself. Like I said, this is a, is a GameStop exclusive. So this pretty much was a, 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 a uh, episode where um, they were found out they was really um, getting screwed over pretty much about um, Terminus and she was trying to help her friends out and this is how um, she wound up looking in, the, in that scene um, right here so is there, is there are other um, curl type figures you can get with the more cleaner face, um, I hope I do get a chance to pick up those uh, the, another uh, version of this um, of this figure, so I can have the two different type versions. Um, as you can see, she does have the the mud, all the detail on the in the hair and everything, and she was pretty much was trying to camouflage herself and to blend in where they couldn't um, get to her. Um, you do have where you can put it like a knife or something like that. Um, I don't think a, a knife did not come with this. Uh, I don't think uh, a knife can fit in there, but I will try to see if I might see if I can put like one of my GI Joe um, type knives and see if we can fit in there. She do have a gun down her um, front right there. Got a nice detail and wash on the buckle. Nice detail um, on the pants and also on the on the boots. You have on the uh, also on the buckles too, as you can see on the side. Um, no peg holes, nothing like that at the bottom. Nice, but I do have um, nice. I was doing, uh, on these boots does look uh, really look nice. Doesn't have any no boot treads like this, but I do see. I have seen boots where they are smooth like that. Um, nice, also nice washing detail on the back. Um, the jacket is it's a soft material. You can bend it, but you cannot take it off. It's um, sculpted on there. Um, <clears throat> the uh, articulation we you pretty much is um, kind of um, standard on your uh, Walking Dead figures. Um, I am I'm, I'm having a little bit of a gripe. Uh, I forgot to tell you, she had this is like a pull piece, like a uh, a bracelet. Uh, I have a little bit of gripe, and I'll get in that in a second. But I'm gonna go to uh, articulation for you um, guys a little bit. Uh, anybody who watched my uh, Morgan review that he has uh, his upper body didn't have too much articulation where she does um, because of his jacket. 
you can get her to move a little bit left and right. No ab crunch, enough like that. Um, you can get the head, the head goes um, left and right also. And you can get a little tilt in that. And left and right. You can get the um, hand, the arms to go up about that, about, about that far. It's going to be hindered because this part of the jacket is a much harder plastic. Um, you do get a nice single bend at the elbow. Um, this will kind of worries me a little bit right here. If you look at the hinge right here, it's a little extended <clears throat> than your normal type of Walking Dead um, uh, hinge. It's, uh, I would want you, uh, if you do pick up this figure, um, be kind of worried about that. That might can break a little bit. Her hands is on the so, uh, much smaller, more cl closer together. So you want to, you can, you can get a nice movement where you can get the hand go like that on the hinge and like that. A little bit of twist in the hand. Um, you do have a single knee at, right there. But you're gonna get it go about that far. Um, look, just a tiny bit, not too much moving in the ankle. Um, you can get the splits. Um, this is a kind of weird type of split. It does remind you of those um, uh, um, animation? Uh, I believe there was uh, some anime type figures that you got for um, your Batman and stuff. Does that? that Split does mind you of that a little bit. Um, um, what else I can tell y'all guys about this figure? Uh, all around, uh, it's, it's a very nice figure. Um, I do recommend it if you are into the uh, Walking Dead figures. Um, I like it. Um, great detail. Uh, once again, I always say a lot of the reviews. Um, it's kind of, I'm going to be kind of iffy. I have to see what uh, Mattel is going to do with these figures when if when they come out with these type of figures. Um, also say this part of the sleeve is nice. Got the nice was wrinkled up a little bit. Show a little bit of her under her blouse a little bit where this is down. So all around, yeah, this is a good figure. It's a pass with me. I mean, I really like it. Um, now that you can just can you just use it for for put on your walking dead stand. You can also use it for um other type of varieties of um, figures you want to put in the background. And um, I really like the character character that she did play, play. She um started off in season one and she's still on the show today. Um, she, her character have, has expanded um from where it um started off from. If you ever watch um the very first couple episodes, you can see where um her character changed a whole lot. Um, hope you um, subscribe to my channel. Hope you like my review. Like to hear from y'all guys about on the comments and stuff like that. Um, share this with your friends. Um, check me out on, on Instagram and um, enjoy your collection. And I forgot to do one thing that I said I was going to start doing, but I said I would forget um, to check on the prices of these figures. Um, before I upload it, I will check and probably put it in the description below what the to just type in Walking Dead um, figures going forward. They're not, they're not expensive. Me personally, if you even bought it um, off of Amazon, you, gotta, you shouldn't spend more than fifteen, sixteen dollars for it. Even like I bought this out of uh, GameStop for like nine dollars. I don't think GameStop really would have too much more of these. Um, you might still find them here and there in some GameStop. Like I said, it's a GameStop exclusive. So. Um, I'll talk to y'all guys later. Everybody have a good day, good night, and um, hi man's out. I hope, like I said, I hope you enjoy the review, and um, I'm gonna try to spice it up and make these reviews as good as possible. Y'all have a good day.